Hello everyone, welcome to another video of this playlist where we are making a 2D mini zombie game using GDevelop. Previously in this playlist, we have made things like enemy following the character, everything about weapons and switching between characters. So make sure to check them out as I have explained everything in detail. And I know I'm late, like it's more than a month since I uploaded the last video in this playlist. Uh, I was just busy in some college stuff. Anyway, I'll try my best to be consistent. And now in this video, we'll learn how to make a level selector and how to switch between levels. And also do subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you won't miss out the future uploads. And now let's get started with the video. So first let's make different levels so we can switch between them and after that we'll make the level selector. So for making a new level, we have to make different scenes just like this one. And if you make it from scratch, it will take a lot of time. And also as we need all of these character and this event in the new level, so rather than making it from scratch, we'll just duplicate this level. So for that, just go to the project manager and here you can find all of the scenes. And to duplicate this level, just go to these three dots and just select duplicate. And now if I open this, as you can see, I have now two different levels. And let me quickly rename them to level 1 and level 2. So I'll name it level 1 and we'll name it level 2. Alright, so as you can see, this is our level 1 and this is the level 2. And I'll make one more level and we'll arrange them in order by moving them down. So as you can see, we have these three levels. And by the way, we are just making three levels now just to understand how these mechanic works. And later on, we'll modify and add more levels. Alright, so as we have made the levels, now let's add something through which we can enter or exit a level. So I'll go to the asset store and let's search for the door. Alright, let's take this one for uh, exiting the level. We'll add it to the scene and we'll take one more door for entering the level. And also we'll set these doors as global objects so it will be common in every level and now let's add these doors into the scene and we will set the z order less than the z order of the character like if you see the z order is 26 so we'll change it to 25 and just press the left shift and resize it all right so i'll just quickly do this for every level And now let's see what we have to do in the events. So first add an empty event and in the condition check if Chloe is in collision with our big brown door. And if it's true add one more condition of key pressed. Select this one and select E. And so if we are in collision with the door and if we press E then we'll change the scene or level so in the action add change the scene select this one and select level 2 because we are in level 1 and we want to change to level 2 and also add trigger once and paste in every level but in the level 2 we'll change it to level 3 because we will be switching to level 3 after we complete the level 2. But as we don't have any level after the level 3, we'll just change the scene to anything else like the main menu or the level selector. So first let's just make another scene for main menu All right. and move it up because we want it to start first Okay, and now change it to main menu and by the way let's just change something in these levels so we can figure out in which level we are in because all of these are identical so let's just change the number of zombies here so for level 1 we'll just take one zombie 
for level 2 we have two zombies and for level 3 we'll just duplicate this zombie all right and now let's see if it works so as you can see we have one zombie that means we are in level 1 and when we go to the door and we'll press E we are in the second level because there are only two zombies and when we escape from level 2 we'll reach to level 3 where we have three zombies all right all right so this is how we'll switch between the levels and now let's see how to make a level selector so first go to the project manager and add one global variable and we'll name it levels Oops. and set this variable to array so we don't have to make different variable for each levels and for making the variable for the levels we'll just add these childs so as you can see it made a group of these variables so this one will be for level 1 this will be for level 2 and this will be for our level 3 and just change it to boolean all of these variables so just assume that these are level 1 2 and 3 and i'll explain it later just change the first level to true and now let's open our main menu so i've made some ui elements for our level selector so i'll just add them quickly all right so as you can see i have these level buttons in which in which i have one button for when the level is off and one when it is on so when it is off you cannot really access it and once you clear a uh, level one then you can access the level two all right so let's just quickly add them to scene all right so as you can see we now have these button through which we can go to level one two or three so i'll just add one more text object and we'll name it select a level just name it levels and size will be let's say 60 70 or color will be white all right so now let's see what we have to do in the events of this main menu so first add an event and in the condition check if the cursor is on our level one and add one more condition that mouse button is pressed or touch held and select the left button All right. and also trigger it once all right so in the action we will change the scene to our level one because when we click our level one we want to go to the level one obviously so in the action change the scene to level one all right now copy this whole event and paste it twice for for rest of these levels so we'll do for level 2 and for level 3 okay. so that's how we'll go manually to the levels but as you can see when i preview this so when i click on level 1 yes it's taking me to level 1 but when i click on level 2 which is not opened yet but still it will take me to the level 2 so let's just fix it so for fixing this issue we'll use the global variable that we just created called levels so as you can see these true and falses so when the array variable will be false that means that level is not open and when it is true it means that it is open Okay, so we just have to add one condition in second and third level that when boolean variable of this global variables and just select this level 2. So level 0 means level 1, 1 means 2 and 2 means 3. Just select this one and set it to true. So when this level will be open then only we are allowed to go to the level 2. So let's just check a preview. And now if you see when I'm clicking it's not taking me to level 2 alright so just copy and paste this condition here and change it 
to our level 3 and add one more condition that when yeah just copy and paste this condition so when it is true we will change the animation of this level 2 to on and copy and paste this whole event and just change it to level sorry change it to level 2 and also change it to level 2 okay oh sorry change it to level 3 that first one okay so this one is for level 3 and this one is for level 2 all right so we just have to do one more thing that when we clear the level 1 we want to unlock this level 2 so but we want it to display over here in the global variables we want to make it true okay in the events of level 1 add an action that global variable uh, select this boolean variable and select this level 2 and change it to true so when we clear the level 1 we will unlock the level 2 and just copy this condition and paste it in the level 2 and just change it to level 3 and also we'll add one more event so add an event in level 1 and in the condition add when key is pressed select the escape key so when we'll press the escape key we'll exit from that level and we'll change the scene to the main menu so in the action or leave it just copy and paste this condition and just change it to main menu and copy this whole event and paste it in every scene all right so now let's see if it works i'm here in the main menu and when i hit number one so i'll be directed to the level one and when i clear the level one means when i am in collision with the door and I press E so here you can see I'm in the level 2 but now let's see if it is changing in the level selector also so I so I'll press escape and as you can see our level 2 is unlocked but our level 3 is still not unlocked and all right so and when I clear the level 2 and press escape so as you can see all of these my levels are cleared And when I clear the level 3, I'll be just directed to the level selector. So this is how level selector and switching between level works. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.